Hello guys, let's today take the first step towards uh, the DevOps uh, system, De DevOps mechanism to build and deploy Angular application in Jenkins. Just to make it easy, we are using freestyle project here, so actual things will be different from this one. So we'll be using Jenkins and um, uh, we, will, you, we will build and deploy one simple Angular application. What you have to do first is uh, I'm using Windows system, so we have to you have to install uh, Jenkins. Before that, you have to install JDK, then uh, Jenkins. And once Jenkins is done, Jenkins installation and setup is done, you will come to this interface. I have one uh, um, application already created, so I see this one. In your case, if you do not have any, it will be blank. You have to go to new item and configure and create the project. Now, after this, the step one will be installation, and step two, step two will be create one uh, Angular application. So I have one Angular application. This one just created, and uh, this is running already. ng serve, yep, and uh, this is the one. And for by the way, for installation and uh, for uh, Jenkins and Java JDK installation, I'll give the link for a uh, YouTube video. You can follow that one it is very easily and very well explained okay so to just to make sure what we have in our application go to app component okay fine we are good here now <clears throat> what we have to do we have to check this changes checking these changes into our github repository so let's go ahead and and here we have the repository this is the one Jenkins test fine what we need we need this URL this one and this one let's uh, move back to our Jenkins now just create new item I'll open this one also in cases we need to see the configure step let's give the name so it was test uh, Jenkins test test it will be freestyle project for us for now it is not any CI/CD kind of uh, not automated uh, CI/CD just manual process we'll just give same thing Jenkins test here this is a github project project URL uh, this is the project URL git repository URL is this one copy this paste it here it's a public repository so no credential needed otherwise you have to give add the credentials here okay so master branch we are going to build now let's go to build step I'm using Windows so we'll just use execute Windows as bash command First is npm install. Okay. Then I'm going to use another one. So ng build we have to build, but ng build will not work as a normal command. So what we have to give npm run ng because otherwise we have to install ng globally there in the server. So we'll just use this one here. And once build is done, our disk folder created. What do we Two. okay let's do this okay build step is this one and then we must have that dist folder created one more thing is there uh, I'll show you after the build complete so let's apply this save this one now create the build now so this is our first build let's see it's succeeding or we're getting failure let's come to this it is running npm install meanwhile I'll just close this
npm install done now it is building the application okay so we have our ng build completed here it is showing us success that's fine so what happened we have created our dist folder but where where is the what is the location where we will find this one right we will get this one inside here let's go to this location and see you can see here we have uh, this one Jenkins test we just created this one right now build is done through Jenkins what we have to do we have to do now CI is kind of done here we have to do the CD now we have to deploy this one right so why to deploy we need to deploy this in a server in AWS it can be s3 or any EC2 instances now here uh, it can be IIS also but uh, in my case what I'll do I'll use uh, XAMPP so it's a XAMPP control panel and uh, we uh, what I have is here we will see our HT text folder if you don't know what is XAMPP or anything you can use anything IIS or anything whatever you have so our goal will be to you know, run this application from here so since we will be running our application in slash uh, say angular Jenkins, so we have to define the base path in our um, application that's why what we have to do we in our angular JSON in the configuration production build we have to define the base HTTP as angular Jenkins. so what we do next to move our files from this workspace to inside our htdocs folder inside XAMPP inside the server from where we will run, we'll run our application so to do this what we will do we will use move command so we simply use a new configuration build step can go to configure and uh, add a build step after ng build we will add this one this one would do what this will do it will copy the content of inside this folder it will take the disk folder uh, the content inside this folder inside uh, in our case it is this folder and all the content inside this so it will take this folder and it will copy this one to inside htx folder but you can have a move command also but uh, i was getting uh, access denied due to permission so i just use this one now if you simply run this one uh, this will work it will copy the content inside this uh, htdocs folder but what will happen in that case you will get build failure because of this command it will not return exit code correctly so simply what we have to do we have to change this error level here copy this and paste it here okay apply save now this was success and uh, we will run another build let's go to the console here console output and payments also not take much time in this case and uh, we should see a folder here okay so we have our build as success okay now we can just try to okay we should have this folder now here here we have this one we can just refresh this one and we should have our angular application running so it's uh, deployed in our uh, XAMPP server so it is done and uh, this is the first step to uh, start with Jenkins next step probably we will try to automate this one once whenever there will be any changes post to github repository the build and deployment will start uh, you know um, automatically so no need to do it manually in actual CACD, we should uh, have this deployment step, email sending, email notification steps in the after the build, so post build actions. But here we just demonstrate session purpose, we just did it like this.